Hello world, it's Baby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I will be sharing with you the challenges that I faced as a computer science major. If you're also new to my channel, I study at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, majoring in computer science and also an incoming sophomore. And before I start, I just want to say that I don't want you to get discouraged by the stories that I'm about to tell you. I'll also keep it as light as possible. I just want to also let you know the reality of what you're getting into if ever that you want to take up computer science. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that I upload a new video and let's get started. So for the first story that I want to share with you is the time that I wasn't able to pass my programming exam, practical programming exam. It was my partner, tapos I really remember na malapit na namin masolve, tapos nag times up na malapit na talaga yon pero hindi namin solve So yung professor kasi namin, if hindi mo nasolve yung problem sa exam, bibigyan ka niya ng default ng 2 over 10 kasi 10 ang perfect score. And hindi namin nasolve yun, so basically, we failed that exam. Pero it was also a learning experience for me and also, I was sad, pero hindi naman ako umiyak. Ginawa namin siyang motivation. We treated that experience as a stepping stone para makabawi sa next exams and we did. So yeah, if ever na meron kayong nabagsak na programming exam, don't be discouraged. Use it as a stepping stone para makabawi kayo, okay? Yung second naman is yung umiyak ako nung isa sa mga classes ng professor ko. Oh my gosh! Tandang-tanda ko pa talaga to. Lahat kami actually kulang ng tulog noon exhausted, tired, and sabay-sabay kasi yung exams, yung quizzes nun, and also lahat ng mga homeworks and deadlines. Yung professor namin, mabait naman yun. Sa class namin na yun, wala na kasi siyang kailangan i-discuss, na-discuss din na lahat. So, ang nangyari is, tatawagin niya kami isa-isa, tapos sasagutin namin yung questions niya on the board. So, nung tinawag niya ako, ang nangyari is, sumagot ako sa board, Tapos, I think may mistake or may kulang sa answer ko. So, ang nangyari is, papabalikin niya ako sa board. Tapos, oh my gosh, super stressed na ako nun. Umiyak na ako. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Gawa na ako, umiyak na ako sa chair ko. So, ang nangyari is, tinawag niya na lang yung next ko na katabi. Siya na ang next na sasagot. Tapos, yun, ang bait naman ng professor ko. So, umiyak lang ako dun kasi I was like super stressed. And by the way, umiiyak ako if ever that I'm exhausted, tired, or sad. It's my way of channeling those feelings out. So, umiyak ako nun. Hindi ako umiyak dahil nagkamali ako or kailangan may correct sa answer ko. Umiyak lang ako nun kasi stressed na talaga ako nun. Hindi lang sa class niya. Ang dami, ang dami nang nasa isip ko. Ang dami kong hinahabol. Stress lang talaga ako nun. After class, my professor asked me if I was okay. Sabi ko naman sa kanya na, Hindi naman ikaw, sir, dahil lang to talaga sa na-overwhelm lang ako sa lahat na makailangan gawin and okay na ako. Kasi pag, pag umiyak ako after nun, okay na talaga ako. So, advice ko sa inyo is find a channel where you can release your stress and also exhaustion. Pwede siyang drawing, pwede siyang crying katulad ko, pwede siyang exercising. Kasi it's also hard if you bottle up those feelings sa loob mo kasi you might explode later on. So, find a channel where you can channel yung stress mo. So, ang third na gusto ko naman i-share sa inyo is isang beses na hindi ko ma-solve yung remaining 10% ng program assignment na binigay ng prof namin sa amin. And individual yun. Tapos, sinosolve ko na siya for like about 3 days. Hindi ako nag-crab pero hindi ko pa rin ma-solve. Nasolve ko na yung 90%. Bigyan ko na lang kayo ng example. For example, my code works for numbers 1 to 99 but it doesn't work for numbers 100 and above and I don't I didn't know why I tried to solve it I tried to optimize my code para ma-solve yung isang specification and na binigay sa amin na teacher namin pero hindi ko talaga ma-solve up until the last day kasi yung deadline ng submission midnight 11:59 p.m. tapos sabay sabay kami ng mga classmates ko na nagso-solve sa dorm and yung iba na ka-solve na ganun nung time na yon I was I was super tired kulang din ako ng tulog noon kaya matulog kayo Mga hanggang 8 p.m. nasa dorm kami. Hindi ako dormer. So, nagstay lang kami sa lobby para masamahan nila ako. Thank you, friends. So, ang nangyari nun is mga 3 p.m. until 8 p.m. nagsasolve kami. Tapos, hindi ko pa rin masolve yung remaining part ng code ko. 10%. I'm 90% done, basically. 10% na lang talaga. And, huh, nung 8 p.m., umiyak na talaga ako noon. Like, umiyak na ako noon kasi I was really so frustrated ng time na yun kasi 
hindi ko mamit yung isang specification ng professor ko pero I met the others yung isa na lang talaga na yun na specification tapos I was so frustrated I cried sa dorm and my friends were there to help me and sabi naman nila na magrest ka muna magisip-isip ka muna kumain ka muna kasi nakalimutan ko na rin mag dinner noon wag niyong gagayahin yung mag dinner kayo so after cry when I calm down I called my parents ma pick me up kasi until 10 p.m. na ako pwede sa dorm yung mga non dormers yun yung curfew kasi nandoon ako ng parents ko and once I got home I told myself that I will not give up sinabi ko sa sarili ko na yes I cried yes I'm sad yes I'm tired yes I'm exhausted pero ang sabi ko sa sarili ko na up until the last minute of submission, hindi ako susuko. And at least alam ko sa sarili ko na I did my best. With all honesty, I submitted my work at 11.30 kasi 11.59. Sinisugurado ko lang if ever na magka-internet problems, I submitted it early, 30 minutes before. And hindi ko na-solve yung remaining 10% na programming assignment na yun. My advice for you is that there are times that you're so frustrated but you have to pull yourself together. Kang sumuko, fight. Cry. Rest, but don't give up. I may not understand why I had to go through those things during that time, but now I do. I became stronger, really hung on to God during those times. So if ever that you face challenges as a computer science major or as a college student in general, don't give up. By the way, computer science is super fun, but like every other course out there, there are highs and lows, there are challenges that you may face, struggles, but love your course. Don't give up. College sometimes is hard, but don't don't let that stop you from achieving your dreams. You also learn a lot from those challenging times. I want to leave you with this verse, one of the verses that keeps me going if I'm discouraged or I'm sad. I'm reading from my laptop. Joshua 1 9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Sometimes it's hard, but never give up and i hope you enjoy this video i also really wanted to share with you the reality of what i experienced as a computer science major thank you for watching this video if ever that you have questions video ideas comment it down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i also want to give a shout out to kuya ferdy abel gomez and kmd123 duero i just want to thank you for the support that you give to my channel see you in my next video Bye bye